Nu, te ia pe pe te ia tu și cu te ia ta, ha te ia na, tu, 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 tu și ca te ia. Hau, hu, a te ia tu și cu te ia. Ișa e ta na he, șa e ta hoi, e o ho ho ia. Ha te ia noi e tu și cu te ia, ua te ia ua. Hai și o te ia moi e tu și moi ia. Hau, o te ia tu și o tu. Aua te iaua e iaua te ca ua E a noi și a te iaua A e iaua tu și ca te iaua S-o de te ia tu și ca te iaua A te ia tu, e a te și ca te iaua Good morning. It's morning star. Oh my word. So, Spirit was like, started showing me some things and I calm my energy down. Enacting protocols. Tapping up to God's source energy and the great I am. Ho. Oh. Diving deep into middle mother guy earth. There we go. Grounding, 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 grounding. The energy going back up. Expansion into the heart breathing. So what an incredible, it's just been an incredible time. I personally, it's been a while since I've gone on by myself. I've been going through the gambit of bullshit. Like, I've been dealing with not only stuff in the house, but then also um, triggers within my own, like, deep stuff seated in my um, core, my very core essence, you know, Childhood trauma it still comes up. It still fucking comes up. Childhood trauma. And you're like, when does this stuff stop? But it's like, as you take a breath and breathe, calm down. As you start walking your life out in manifestation and in creating space, creating a life where your heart and your spirit can blossom and bloom and come into the full shine brightness of the daylight of the sun and all of its manifest glory, right? trauma layers still layers within me i will talk about myself within my own innermost being my own innermost being the child within me still needs to be healed there's been a lot of growth there has been a lot of healing if there hadn't been i couldn't do what i'm doing now I'd, I would still be stuck on the sofa watching nonstop Netflix and just whatever the hell I used to do. But anyway, but you know, with years of listening to spirit, tasting the wind, I'm not going to lie to you. It's a hard journey. It'll kill you. It'll annihilate you because it's going after fine gold. The fires get hot. And so grandmothers here, tribal women are here. They just came in in a circle around. Okay, um, there's a Matthew here this morning. There's some various, um, like a Christoph or a Christopher. Christoph uh, came on the live feed yesterday with White Wolf. Today it's Matthew. Another being has just come in. What? What's your name? Ata el no shikatea. Atea shikatea. 
<laughs> they said just to call him Flower. <laughs> it's okay, Flower. They kind of came into the side and they went, So it's like overlaying, overlaying, grace, ease, peace. Like a beautiful velvet, violet, lilac, lavender, sheen veil of laying upon layers upon layers upon layers. So as the child within my own self starts trusting and coming out to play, you know, I noticed um, when I first got down here, um, I wasn't dancing and I wasn't, you know, it's kind of like, you know, the onslaught of all this stuff, right? All this stuff. And then you get to a point where it's kind of done and then you're back to, okay, what's going on in spirit? What's going on with me? What's happening? And I was like, I'm not dancing. What, what's happening? And it felt like I was just like concaved and kind of shut in and sometimes I couldn't breathe and talk about going through a gambit of emotion of manic depression to, you know, all this different stuff. You know, I've got some stuff on a natural 3D that I have, that I deal with and I have dealt with ever since I was a small child. So it's like learning to navigate and overcome the natural, stepping into the fullness, the fullness, and the brevity, the power that is ignited within. That's where I live, where my energy signature, when it's truly lit and on fire, that is who I am. Um, it's a constant flame and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger does Carla have to deal with certain things yes she's learning she's still learning to trust us she's still learning to love to love herself to love her heart to let go letting go letting go letting go process to process so we invite you today to let go trust us where we're taking you trust us sorry I need eye surgery <laughs> trust us look into my eyes trust us trust where we are taking you, beloveds. You're not going back. There's just shimmers. There's just a little shimmers of the past. Let it fall away. Discernment. Look. Look again. Step through the veils. Step through the doors. There's opportunity out there for you. We have greatness. We have signposts. We have set signposts for you. Individually, we know you so well. We know what makes you tick. We know what you love. We know every aspect about you. We love you. And if we could take each and every one in our arms, and let you know how special you are, how vibrant, what courage to come in this time plane, to play this game out now. It's okay. There's some cool stuff coming. There's some incredible 5D stuff that's coming. It's going to hit the news. It's going to be some real fun stuff. Don't get lost. Don't get lost. Don't get lost. It's okay. And even when you do, there's a fine, lighted thread that will always connect you, no matter how far you go this way and how far you go that way, to always bring you back into alignment, into the fullness of the sun.
into the fullness of daylight, daybreak. It's glorious. Okay. Thank you. Okay. No, didn't know that was going to happen. I just, this morning I was like, go, oh, go live. And I'm like, why would I come live with you? And he's like, he's not ready yet. So I was like, okay, no big deal. So I was like, so they showed me I'm going to take a cup of coffee. Drink a cup of coffee. So they showed me over here to the side this glorious goblet with all of this beautiful um, inscription and writing. It's huge over here in the middle of the room. And I was just like, oh my God. It's like daily, that daily cup of overflowing. It's my fault I don't tap in on a daily basis. When I get hung up in the past or get hung up in an attitude or get hung up in, in something that I'm really just fucking pissed off about because Carla thinks you're not moving fast enough. So I'm just like, screw you. You want to see how how um, difficult I can become, how I can dig in my heels and say, fuck you, universe, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Is it worth the cost? Is it worth the cost for Carla's 3D to have to go through all the bullshit all the time? Sometimes, just want peace. Just want fucking peace. I want it to stop. So, in Carla's 3D, and working out, working out, working out, Stepping into faith, stepping into belief, stepping into triumph. When everything within her wants to cry out and say, failure, you're not going to make it. You are a failure. What is that about? That's past. That's my dad. That's my sister. It's all the energetic stuff of a 3D. Does it still come up? Hell yes. And anytime your foot is drawn to the line and they say, cross over, believe us, leave it behind, leave the shadows behind, leave the darkness behind, step over the line. It's fucking hard. It's fucking hard. And when you have angst and anger and you've suffered childhood trauma, everything within you, everything within you, it breaks. You fucking break. And don't, and Carla in her 3D, I was goddamn tired of breaking. Goddamn tired of being shattered. Shattered. Wow. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, didn't know any of this was going to happen today. <sighs> Thank God they didn't leave me there. They didn't leave me there. They don't leave me there. It's like scraping the bottom of a pit or scraping the bottom of I literally saw myself in uh, like a, a deep pit and it was like a column I don't know I went down like I don't know 30 feet 25 I don't know I'm not really good with measurements but it was like I was just sitting there in this in this hole at the bottom just sitting there in light pure light but I was like I ain't going nowhere I ain't doing nothing I was like dug in in a, my own personal pit even though I was a child of light, I'm a child of light in my own pit. Like, fuck you. Really? I've had enough. Really? Really? Screw you. That's what I'd say. You don't think they can handle your truth? You don't think they can handle your authenticity of saying, fuck off? Are you kidding me? Well, <laughs> sometimes in the past when I get in one of these moods, they'd, they'd laugh. And then sometimes that would be the 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 line of, or the brevity or the uh, the unction that would come in and it would be like, oh yeah, it's, it's no big deal. You know, there have been those times it was an easy shift. It was just an easy shift. But then in the last couple of weeks, it's been, it was not an easy shift for me. It was like dead silence. I wasn't hearing anything. I wasn't feeling anything at all, at all. I got a meme coming through the Facebook feed this um, today and I'm not going to be able to quote it word for word. But it was like, sometimes they're quiet. 
just so that you can become and learn and be the person that you say you are. <sighs> Bam! Talk about a hole shot through my heart on that one. Wow. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Energy flexes come in. It's a sky blue with a, a dark indigo blue ribbon. Thank you. Archangel Gabriel is there. Oh, man. Today, Michael, Archangel Michael is like above the house hovering over, like with... <laughs> stirring stuff off so you know when we get released individually we get released we're like, we're, we are releasing for the collective it's just how it is it's just how it is so when you are going through a personal struggle please know you are also releasing the collective from struggle it's just all together it's all connected on all energy lines all energy planes no matter what it is it's layer upon layer upon layer personal level affecting what you see out in the world like you could literally be releasing someone that's over in another country you don't even know it they might be going through the same thing they don't know how to get out spirit leads you out and then somehow some way they find their way out interesting isn't it it's all like a grand play we win in the end guys we win we win. All right, I'm gonna. We're gonna raise the energy up. Mother Mary has come in strong. Mary Magdalene. Now we have a full three feminine bond here. And now Kuan Yin has moved to the middle. They're sending out beautiful, they're sending out that beautiful, um, I don't even know how to describe this color of going out with ribbons, going out, going out, oh, going out around hearts. Wow. Going out around hearts. Thank you. My goodness gracious. Thank you. I'm going to set this down. It gets kind of hot. I'm going to spray. 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 light a candle hey remember some of you don't remember some of you do of uh, putting on an album I guess I am that old putting on an album and listening to it just hanging out man and listening to that album like your favorite one again and again and again it's like the world stops it does it just stops you're present just listening to that music lighting a candle incense burning some sage very simplistic things to do but it'll it changes our lives it changes the energy in our rooms it changes the energy in our lives in our hearts in our atmospheric of everything so that the aboya so broto shikate awa e so to to shikate de atano to ya shikate awa pa so that the ato shikate na na te auto shiyoto ya ta ya to shikate one more time Breathe. Ha! Oh, there we go. But there's a beautiful green, green, uh, fern green plant right here. So Kuan Yin is doing some energy work right now. She's releasing energy. 
for healing, for hope. Oh, she's going deep into the ground in the root systems. She's feeding the main lines that run deep in the ground. Wow. Now I'm seeing like almost like a powder blue sparkly iridescent, like almost a, you know, this kind of a, you know, some people call it a robin's egg blue, it doesn't matter. I don't know why I get caught up on that kind of stuff, but I just do. There we go. And the beautiful green, big green leaf is behind it. It's like feeding energy. It's almost like a, an awash, an awash, how do you say that damn word? You know what I'm saying? Ceremony. You don't actually have to do the ceremony to have that energy come into your energy field. Just saying. Ayahuasca. Thank you. But if you want to, do it. And if you don't, you can still get it without having to actually do it. Side note. Here we go. Still continuing. So if you're open, breathe and receive this energy flow. Wow, this is going straight into all of that angst and anxiety that I personally have been having. Tell me upset. Some beautiful golden butter yellow is coming in. Sorry, some things are coming on the screen. They're sealing it in a nighttime energy with uh, like a summer sky with crickets, cricket sound. Fingertips, causal chakra, all the way down to the bottom of my feet into deep middle mother guide earth. Oh, panther has showed up. I'm being shown this incredible vine, like in um, the jungles, in a jungle, and panther has just come in. The panther is going up. But it is a time of magic, it is a time of transformation. Now I'm seeing three spinning. Uh, spinning pottery trays right here three spinning Now there's a golden light that has come in, sealing up the energy with uh, trimmed or in orange, right? Like the sun energy coming in, sealing it up. Now some galactic council have come in. There's some feeding, some energy codes coming in. Oh, they've created this beautiful flower. It's an actual flower, like a lotus, 
어떤 the root system, the stem. 어떤 시가 돼야 나, 에 아나 이 시가 돼야 나. It's like the end in like a, that golden, it was almost like a pollen, like a pollination coming in. pollinating. They're saying fifth ray density. I personally am feeling energy going in from the top of my causal chakra and it's going out one ear and going out to the other and going out. So it's making the pyramid, making the triangle. And now the shimmer of beautiful sky blue. Be blessed. Be blessed. Moisture. Peace out.